Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm your host today and I'm glad to have you back here on my channel. If you're new to my channel or you didn't subscribe yet, I would really appreciate if you do that to support this channel. Let's start with the Twitter deal. Um, so it looks like Elon Musk is not going to move forward with it. And I personally, but you can share your opinion as well, I'm personally very happy about that. I do prefer Elon to um, yeah, concentrate on Tesla, SpaceX. There's so much work to do. And I think that really profits the brand awareness and the brand strength of Tesla if Elon would concentrate even more on Tesla and SpaceX. Um, again, this is my personal opinion, but here Ray for Tesla is experiencing and sharing with us that right after this decision, the amount of bots actually taking over again Twitter it looks like Twitter really hold the bots back while uh, the deal was not certain yet. So um, maybe a right decision to not do the deal um, from Elon's side. Then looking at Giga Berlin, we have news here. So first of all, um, actually the factory is going to be shut down um, and the upgrade and the speed of new cars will be increased after the two weeks of break in Giga Berlin. This is the last amount of cars being produced on Friday. Um, these are white Model Y performance and in the back you see the black one. What is very important to consider, we do know that Tesla had a big deal not only with Hertz but as well with Sixth. Um, a rental company which I'm pretty sure you know and so we talked about the Model Y long range coming out of Giga Berlin and I said mm, no customers are receiving any VIN number and now it looks like Tesla is actually doing something they normally don't do and we have reported about that on Tesla Mac as well which is my second channel the German channel and so we know now that Sixth actually received a few hundred Model Y long range from Giga Berlin. So they get actually a preference here. So no customers, no private customers are receiving Model Y long range from Giga Berlin. It is the company of Sixth. The good news about that is that it looks like Tesla is able to build the Model Y long range. So I think it's just a question of time until the Model Y long range will be produced as well out of Giga Berlin. Um, but again, um, yeah, Sixth is getting here um, a better position. So it looks like they don't have to wait as long as private um, customers. And this is something that Tesla has not done before. And I would like to know your opinion about that because usually it is the way that private customers and companies that order very large amount of cars are actually in the same wait time frame um, all together. But that doesn't look like it right now. Then we are looking at the battery cell production. And as you can see outside, everything is actually being finished up. So I personally think um, in the next two to three weeks, this should be done outside with windows and everything. And then by beginning or mid, I would say more like mid August, um, they will start working on the inside. I do expect maybe the first machines starting to arrive inside this building by end of September, beginning of October. And then by December, hopefully, already a test production. And then the 4680 battery pack coming out into cars in the standard range variant like in Austin by end of Q1. Then for China, we do see the discrepancy between the Model Y and the Model 3 production, something many people are upset about because the wait times for the Model 3 are getting longer and longer. On the other hand, if I'm an investor, I do like to see that because Model Y production means more money, better margins. So that is like a two side to look at. Then we have around about 3,300 cars in China that are currently prepared for Europe. We are just waiting for the first car, actually, uh, car, not car, the first ship to be exact, arriving here in China to pick up the cars for the European market. And we also experience a lot of different changes when it comes to delivery times. I'm pretty sure that for those who are currently in the European market waiting for a car, they experience the same thing. It's like May, June, August, July, August, and now as well August, September. So 
Um, this customer really describes the problem that we currently have, that the app is updating sometimes even daily. And that is a huge issue because actually there's no main reason, like no major thing happening that would change or really suggest why the delivery times are actually moving um, either to one direction closer to uh, your your day or um, even more far away. So um, I think Tesla has to fix that immediately. I would really appreciate that because this is so annoying. Then we are looking into China and that is actually um, very interesting. So Tesla is actually moving um, this gentleman who was actually working very, very well, doing a very good job in Giga Shanghai. He's now appointed China executive to oversee Asia Pacific. Um, so if that is the case, I think this is just a preparation for new factories in the Asian Pacific region to so in this case have somebody overlooking not only Giga Shanghai, but future factories outside of China. So having like somebody taking care of the Asian Pacific market. Um, I could actually see this guy um, moving up the ladder further up at some point because he's just doing a great job. But please share your opinion, what you think about him. Me personally, I really um, like the way he established um, the way the cars are produced in China. Then we are looking at Adrian, who shared with us uh, from the convention in Hanover. I was uh, talking about that before. So it's pretty much something built by trainees at the Tesla Automation, and it's like a proof of concept. So you have um, a strength of 3.2 kilowatt power and a built-in power wall for storage. And you have 230 volt outlets to provide power to other devices, machines, and cars. So this is just a concept, but I think um, you see where the way is going because I think if you have inspiration, if you have new ideas being shared, getting feedback, I do like this concept. Maybe there is a way to get that into Cybertruck, maybe um, getting it into like a camping style stuff that maybe Tesla is going to offer at some point. So I think this is a very, very um, good example um, that you have to involve young people being creative, um, moving forward and getting ideas together and build something like that. So um, again, it's very exciting, exciting to see that and more exciting are the coming weeks, to be honest with you, with the upgrades in Shanghai and in Giga Berlin. We are just at the point where we're so close to even more deliveries and more production. So glad to have you here. I wish you a wonderful day. Take care and see you tomorrow.